I just wanted to show you around a couple of my Build Your Skill Packs that would be suitable for younger students, uh, people new to Excel. So in this one here, this is the pack on formatting and formulas and you'll see there the way they are set up is with task one, there's always hints and tips, often screenshots to help students navigate their way around the tasks and a series of comment boxes and things to do in each one. So that's for example task one and if we look further down into the pack. For example, in task six, similar type things. It is looking at using formulas and it's looking at formatting. Not quite so much help, but still on-screen instructions. And then once you get to the, the final tasks, there's very little instruction and help and students would by that point be able to get on with it. So for example, the last uh, task in this pack, there's instructions um, down the right hand side there you'll see and there's nothing on screen to help but it's just a case of students by this point should be able to complete everything that they're asked to do. So that's a wee example of our pack on formatting and formula. Now looking at our pack on graphs, you will see in task one, very simple, being asked to do a pie chart. There's hints and tips with a screenshot asking students, you know, to create the pie chart and give it a title and move it uh, in position, etc. And then looking at task six, for example, it's again quite basic data, but students asked to create a bar chart with very little help. And then you'll see in the last couple of tasks where there's more instruction and multiple graphs to create. So that is some information on our pack on graphs. The pack on percentages takes a slightly different format. I know that a lot of students find this difficult. So in this pack, there's quite a bit of practice understanding how to work with percentages, how you could increase and decrease. So it starts with a lot of practice and I have put a row in between so that they can't just copy down. Well, they could, but I'm hoping that uh, the students would just try it one by one until they get the hang of it. There's actually three practice sheets before they even start in this pack and you'll see there from practice two, uh, again, this is, you know, how much but increasing, how much decreasing and hints and tips and showing students how they actually do that as well as the instructions in the blue box. And practice three, similar thing, looking at comparing discounts to original price. So lots of help here, lots of instruction just to get students uh, in the mindset of doing the, the percentage work. Then moving on, there's just a variety of different tasks uh, working with percentages. There You'll see there example task five regarding house prices. Task 10 on pizza sales and in this example where there's to be uh, an increase in percentage for the price. A little bit of help where I feel it needs to be. You'll notice there down the right hand side and a few things to do there. And then looking at the last task, you'll see here task 17, there's just some data and students are just asked to complete the table. So by this point, they should know how to use percentages and the basic formulas and formatting and be able to complete this table by themselves. So that is our pack on percentages. Moving on to the pack on absolute cell referencing and name cells. This perhaps is now going beyond uh, a junior student. This is really touching now on your national five, but I'll just do a little demonstration of it anyway. And you'll see here again, they are still being asked to do some formatting that they have done before. They should know how to do that. Wrapping text, formatting, pounds, decimal places, and then dealing with an absolute cell reference to work out, you know, how to work out commission on sales using C17 and being able to do, to do that in column D and then being able to finish the work. So that's the first task in the absolute cell referencing. Moving on from absolute cell re referencing, there's a wee bit on, on naming cells. So instead of using the dollar sign, we're asking in this case B3 to name the cell and then do the, 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 the formula and then the copying down. And by the time students get to the, the, the last task, um, you'll see there's quite a lot to do. There's a lot of information, a lot of instruction, and they are expected to complete, in this case, a revenue and cost statement, all with instructions. They're all numbered so they know what to do and when to do it. So that's just a wee overview of the pack on absolute cell referencing and named cells. Now moving on to some word packs. We have one on basic business letters and what you will see, in fact with all the packs, there's, there's always the tasks 
and you'll see again 15 and we always put in suggested solutions and in this example here actually to save any bother for, for students and, and teachers uh, because we're doing letterheads and uh, sort of business letters that I did I have already put in various uh, graphics that they can use that, 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 that gets included um, in the pack. Some have been designed by me and some are just ones that I've I managed to pick up. So there's enough uh, logos there to suit pretty much all the tasks. So looking at the first task, it's really essentially a blank Word document, but I have put in comment boxes and the idea would be, in this example, for creating a letterhead. They've got instructions down the right hand side. Uh, they're given specifically what to call the business and the address and the details. And um, again, there's, there's, there's fonts, uh, graphics or you, you can use for that. There are seven of the, the similar things where a letterhead has to be created. There is one task where students are asked to create their own um, their own idea for a business and again it's just instructions on the right hand side and they have to come up with their own, own suggestions. And then moving on to basic business letters where the letterhead has been created for the students and again with comments down the right hand side it's just being able to complete the basic business uh, letters, doing certain things, getting the correct date, you know, bold, underline, changing the font, just bits and pieces down the right hand side to change the look of the letter. And here we have an example of the last task here where again it's about putting in references and dates and the correct address and the correct place and then a bit more detail so for example here there's a table where they have to put in borders etc and then adding bullet points and bits and pieces. So that is an example of our letterheads and business basic business letters. So having a wee look at our pack on tables, it starts off with a table that's already been created. You'll notice there there are comment boxes. You have to actually double click to see what the instructions are on each one and it tells uh, students what to do. So uh, looking at this example, this is task four. The table has already been created. Now students are asked to do such things as insert rows, merge cells, add borders, change font style size bold etc and instructions again are down the right hand the right hand side and looking at tasks further uh, down you'll see here task 14 and again it's still looking to you know insert rows and merge cells now we're looking at centering at looking at the row height uh, you know how to center text vertically and left align bold merging just really everything that you might need to do in a table so that's a wee look at the 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 pack on tables so the last pack that I think would be suitable for younger students or those new to admin is the pack on integrated business letters. It takes a wee bit of a different format in that, that there's a, a folder for each task because within each folder I put in things like letterheads, logos, uh, uh, information. So for example here task one, there's already a letterhead has already been created. There's also uh, prices in an Excel spreadsheet and there's also um, times in a table in a different document and the idea would be of course that they would have to open up the the, the, the letter that's been created, follow instructions down the right hand side and then having to um, insert where appropriate the various bits and pieces and the way the comment boxes are written it should actually um, instruct students exactly where to go so they have to go back to their table, back to the Excel spreadsheet or whatever and bring that information in. So that's an example of task one of the integrated business letters. I'm just having a look at the, the last task in this pack. This is where there's a letter and there's actually a table from a database they have to insert and they're also asked to create a form as well. So that's just a wee overview of the integrated business letters in the pack. I hope this helps. Please just get in touch if you've got any questions or you want a wee guided tour of any of the other packs.